For all things Pelicans, you're now tuned into the Pelican Post Game Report. Much love to the fam. Appreciate y'all joining me for another episode of PPR Weekly. We up in this thing. Shout out to the fam. Much love to everybody, man, as we up in this one. This one called Larry Nance tells the media stop putting out fake stories for clicks. And Larry's and said he said this before. We done covered it on the show. The Pelicans are one of the favorite people for some of these idiots out here that don't do their homework. That's that just put out these stories for clicks. We've been saying this. This is just seemed to be the culture. You got to do your homework on this stuff and just don't come out and believe everything they, they say. You got to do your homework. If you respect your fam your, your, your family base. Or you subscriber base that listen to you, respect them enough to do homework and just don't sit up here and parrot everything these people saying. Actually, critical think this stuff and you'll find out a lot of this stuff is just smoke and BS that they putting out here. So anyway, let's get into some of this stuff, man, uh, that what Larry Nance is talking about, man, because he was kind of pissed about what happened with this particular article. We get into it. And Larry was talking about, he said, I don't understand the constant attempt to drag Z's, Zion, uh, Zion's name, I'm in the gym with this dude all season. He's constantly putting in the work on his his touch, his jumper, and skill shots. These dudes need to stop putting out these fake stories just for clicks. It's pathetic. And what he's talking about is this NBA Central article right here by Rick Buecher that's saying, where are the floaters up and under layups, his pull-up jumpers at the elbow? Now for what I've been told, he's shown no interest in developing any of those tricks tricks that Blake Griffin learned along with a decent three-point shot when the injuries started to pile up for him and allowed him to single-handedly drag the Pistons to a playoff berth. This is some of the stuff that kind of got under Larry Nance's skin. And Larry Nance is one of the people, one of the several Pelican players that have routinely stepped up, routinely stepped up and repeatedly defended Zion to the press and he's counter- uh, countered the narratives uh, on Zion Williamson and they just love to pick on this kid man the media make all these fantastic stories that are unverified the trade rumors we covered that all leading up to the draft to a degree it really spoiled the draft for me to have to keep you know to just, just, just tear down all these dumbass narratives just press people saying and dra- throwing his name out there so that they can get views to get on people's shows so they can get, grab some spotlight it's really shameful but this is what Larry Nance was saying is pathetic because he calls it fake stories. And, and it's, it's foolish because they always say this stuff and they don't give any val- valuable or reliable sources to what was going on. Zion Williamson never was going to get traded prior to the draft. He's not going to get traded after the draft at this current juncture of time. Now, if things persist and he gets injured and we move further into the future, then that could be a discussion we have then. But the point of the matter is right now, none of this stuff is hitting on nothing. And the truest insider that I know that covers the basketball was Adrian Wojnarowski. And on draft night, he destroyed a lot of that crap that a lot of these other people were buzzing about. But anyway, this is what Larry Nance is saying. And he's tired of them dragging, as he calls it, dragging Zion's name and saying all this fantastic stuff. Now, we did do a quick stream and covered Gil Arena. Zion popped up there and told some truths, man, uh, you know, about stuff. They didn't ask him about nothing else outside of that, but he was also in Vegas, and that was credit to what David Griffin said, that Zion relationship is as good as it's ever been. And remember, all the rumors came out, and this was the the guy from Wendy's uh, sitting up there with three cheeseburgers and a Sprite talking about that he doesn't talk to nobody and all this kind of stuff. Larry Nance just debunked that, and David Griffin debunked a lot of that. And when he talked about it, that the relationship is good, good as it's ever been. He taught, he said that on the NBA uh, XM radio, when he spoke about Zion Williamson, when the reporter asked him, he says, yeah, I would say it's as good as it's ever been. Actually, he's coming out here to join the team, to be with Herb and Trey and some of the veterans that are here. Brandon going to come join the team as well. I say it's, it's good as it's ever been. So, you know, they go, David Griffin, of course, David Griffin told the truth that time because Zion Williamson made an appearance on Gilbert Arenas' stream. That's out there in Vegas to go and show some support 
for the Pels out there during the summer league. I seen people dragging Zion. Well, this dude ain't even a leader. He ain't even out there in summer league. Well, guess what? He out there at summer league. And most of these people, they're not going to apologize for what the hell they were saying when they was wrong. They're just going to disappear in the corner or back up under the rock where they come from. But anyway, this is another little bit of giblet right here from one of this dude was the one that kind of dropped the game about a lot of the stuff that was going on with the Zion Williamson trade. When asked about Zion Williamson trading right now, this is what he had to say. Do we have a wellness check on Zion? Is he doing okay? And B, is there still a chance that he's going to get traded before the start of the season? I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't count on Zion getting traded now. I think. I think the potential of him getting traded. I think a lot of that rested yeah. on them. The, the Pelicans trying to get in the top two, top three. We've been talking about it for for weeks, even before the draft. They wanted to get high up. They wanted to go get Scoot Henderson. They wanted to get high up in the draft. And I think the fact that they weren't able to do it, I think now you've got a full summer, get right, get healthy. Um, uh, to my knowledge, Zion Williamson's working out, doing his thing. Uh, there was just that video, I think a week or two ago, of him doing a 360 dunk at a yep. camp. So it seems like okay. he's feeling good. Um, he, Here we go. He's trying to ramp up. Um, and even Willie Green said on, on the telecast the other day, like, he's, he's, he's you know, he's feeling good, you know? And, oh, and yeah. we're hopeful. Listen, we, we this is a Zion-friendly program. If Zion Williamson's 100% healthy, the 100%. Pelicans have a shot to be a true contender in the Western. Is this Conference. professional so athletics? You don't have to be 100%. If I'm All right, so this is the thing. So we go from trading him for Scoot Henderson to now he's not going to get traded. And we, we said that because that don't make sense to trade Zion Williamson for a guy that you don't know what he's going to be. Now, we like Scoot Henderson, but that's just not that's not commonsensical. We kept talking about it. And even from a business perspective, when you're a, a small market team like the Pelicans are in the NBA, you got to think about the great, the value that Zion Williamson bring when he is healthy to the court, that he's blockbusting. You need star power like that to help drag the rest of the league to watch you. And that helps gra grab up your money so that you can compete with other teams. So the reality is the media loves talking about Zion Williamson. If it's in a negative light, Zion doesn't help it any better that he does off court issues that kind of drag him into the spotlight at that time. But the reality was Zion Williamson was not going to get trade. It was a single, a simple inquiry about the Pelicans to the trailblazers into the Hornets to find out what would it take to move up? Now he was never in play. They said that later on in Adrian Wojnarowski broke it down during the draft. He never was in play. Nobody's going to give Zion Williamson for Scoot Henderson or Brandon Ingram or Trey Murphy. What would it take? Would you take draft picks? Would you take anybody else? We'll add him with whatever you got. But the Pelicans, good enough. They were patient enough. They inquired on both those clubs. They came back to the table and they took Jordan Hawkins, Hawkeye. So with that being said, we move forward into the season. And now that, you know, Shams is now saying that, you know, we're going to take them into, uh, into the season and we're going to go like that. But at the end of the day, man, what really is the, the true focal point of the story is just wanted to go a, a, a brief summary of all of the stuff that we covered. And Larry Nance doesn't like the fact that his buddy Zion, his teammate Zion Williamson is getting dragged on it from these people saying that he ain't working on no floaters or under layups and all this kind of stuff. What, where do they get this crap from, man? Seriously, where do they get it from? You know, it, it's just, and it's getting to a to the point where I would expect this from YouTubers, but some people that's supposed to have like you know degrees and graduated from school, you're supposed to have a degree of professionalism to do this, and this is absolute garbage, man, garbage, man. But at the end of the day, that's what we do, man. We just dispel and reverse garbage narratives that they try to put out here on our squad, man. We gonna stand up for our squad. We gonna represent. So anyway, with that being said, that'll do it for this episode of Pelican Post Game Report. Man, please feel free to hit the like button, man. This is your team. The Pelicans are our squad, man. Let's stand up and defend our squad, man. Let's stand up and defend our players and from these people that don't even talk about the Pelicans unless it's negative. Can we stand up and bat these dogs down? Can we stand up here and shut them down with this BS and challenge these narratives? Can we stand together and do this to, for our team, man? Because if it was for these people out here, they were the Pelicans. They would have moved the Pelicans away. They want Zion and B.I. and all of them traded so we don't have anybody. So our team will be bad so they can take them away from us. So we got to stand up on this, man, and defend our squad, man. And that's what we represent. So if you guys are with me, and I know a lot of you all in the flock, 
please feel free to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button, the notification, and share these shows because we hard hitting these people, man. We've been doing this for a while. Please feel free. And a lot of the players listen and they feel the same damn way that we feel with all this nonsense out here about our players, man. Enough is enough. So ride with me on this one, fam. So share our uh, shows on the social media feed in groups and all that kind of great stuff, man. And listen, I'll be back on the flip side with another one. Much love to the fam and go Pels.